Hold on. We'll, and we'll then, how about tomorrow? How about that. tomorrow when you have your uh, Valorant install? You want to play that, Tommy's? Yeah, we'll try. And maybe yeah. them if you're on. Um. Depends what time. What time are you guys doing it? I don't yeah, fucking I'm know. So. I'm Texas. Oh my god. Oh, so. We just got done watching over five times watching the fucking clip where 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 Sir Capitalism fucking burst into his room going when your gamer boy games games and we kept losing our shit for no reason. Ugh. All right, what should we do? I'm not a simp. You are a simp. Shh. Shh. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> wait, what? Kitten! Hold up. Kitten! Are you good? I saw, I think I saw more theories. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Hold on, there, there's a kitten screaming at me. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Uh, help me. I've seen so much Doki Doki Liter Literature Club Rule 34, it's not even funny anymore. What's, what's, what's no. rule 34? I'm not- I'm not telling anyone here. <clears throat> Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? I'm curious now, what's rule 34? My... Rule 34 is pretty much type in anything. Rule 34 of the internet is if it exists, there's porn of it. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, it will give you images. Yeah, you have to type in a specific character though. You can't just type in one thing. Well, I'm type in type in Dude. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. I'm sorry. Let me guide you. Well, well maybe, maybe not, not determination. determination. But I, I guess, guess fashion. fashion. <clears throat> Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all going to help out for the festival too. Oh shit. That's my cue. Give me a second. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Next time minute. don't fucking burst into your room saying shit. <laughs> the game rule of video game Hold really game. Hold up. Hold up. God damn it. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. Can come here. Hold up, I gotta go open the door. This is gonna be great. Oh shit. <sighs> Sorry. Don't get me fucking don't get me fucking copy ID, please. <laughs> my bad, my Tim. bad. Tim. My bad. It's, no, no, it's your turn to read. Oh, it is? Eh. Yes. Eh. Eh. Weren't you playing in Violet yesterday, Natsuki? Oh, yeah. This smells really fucking good. That's like what I heard in the bed. The whole day, the whole day of school, where you get to play and eat all kinds of delicious fat. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. 
Where is Sayori? I don't I fucking know. Monica, do they usually have five colors? Tim! Weird. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. I'll put, right. mm -mm. I'll put them on. Did you just fucking take a bite of something? <laughs> he fucking did. <laughs> Why do you always eat things at like 10 and 9 o'clock? You're gonna start fucking choking again. <laughs> Shit, sorry. Close my door! You little people. What do you mean? Pause menu. Jeez, it's just windy out. I didn't skip over anything. Bro, do you hear that? But no. Tim, you just fucking yoinked me. Yeah, you're welcome. I said yoink. Alright, Monica. Uh, hey, hey, Monica. Hey, bro. Oh, okay. so, uh, hey, uh, I didn't say I... Don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Bro, that's freaking loud. What is loud? Freaking wind. There's like literally no wind in Texas. Well, you're not in Minnesota. Well, yeah, I fucking said Texas. Alright. Natsuki. And we get art under Tomato Watch, so, uh, crap. Um, <laughs> this is not great. <laughs> It's right in your name. Monica. Monica. Oh, Ika. Sorry, that's uh, not, <laughs> not. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke's that joke makes no sense in translation. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Are you shitting me? It's Asvor. It's Asvor. No. <laughs> All right. Aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayori's, anyways. Excuse me. Where is Sayori, anyway? Oh, there you are. Dead. Sayori oh. is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh. Look what you did. <laughs> You're spacing out again. Eh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't say I'm. <laughs> Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Ah, is everything all right? Look, look what you did. I didn't uh, do anything. You did something. Did I you didn't know you did nothing. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? You picked Yuri over her. I like Yuri. Okay. Can I not no, choose my waifu? Her, I you like Yuri. She you is a waifu. That is not simping. Hard. No, simping you is different. Simped. That you is not simped. simping. You hard simp because now she's. So you're telling me if I go through the entire game again and I go for a Sayori route, you guys won't call me a simp because that's exactly yeah. what you guys would fucking do. She's the nicest one. Oh my god, Yuri's the nicest one. What do you mean? Yuri's the no, fucking she, she's insane. She's the bitch. awkward one. Jeez. I like awkward home. girls. She's the insane hoe! No, you're just fucking rude. Fine, watch. Sorry for assuming things. Fine, I don't know it. about you, but Monica's Please. the best. You, don't know. Monica you does have very thick me. thighs, though. Yeah, like I've been saying. I'm fine, see? Oh, Jesus. They always shows so me a big wrong. smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone else. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else, but the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. 
Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. James, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Fuck. Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but it, it, she seems a bit downcast today. Well, you'd think so. <clears throat> it's your fault. <clears throat> what? Fu I'm not doing anything, though. I never uh, did I a can't... thing. I, I can't say I noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. What the fuck is going on with Sayori? You know what you fucking did? I didn't do anything! <laughs> Maybe there is something on her mind. You simped. That's I, what you did. I didn't simp. That's not simp. simping. I just went to the way that I want to go. My dick does the talking watch for me. Watch what happens. Oh my god. But watch I'm as your surprised. goes I'm not the one asking you, James. You certainly know a lot better. Know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, uh, you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, James. Things are not playing great, like, things are playing in my head and it's making me really uncomfortable. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? You know exactly- Bruh, it's freaking windy out. I heard it, actually. Alright, Monica? Oh, my bad. I was looking outside. Yeah, I good. probably shouldn't say too much. So he talks about you more than anyone else, you know? Uh, she's... oh wait. She's been so much happier ever since she joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her. What? And turned off. No way. No way. Sayori's <laughs> always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. Ehe <laughs> ehe. You're so funny, James. What do you I mean, mean I turned it off? That maybe you always seen her ass so cheerful. Hold up. Because that's just how she when she's around you. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry, would you I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you can just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaning meaningfully. <sighs> Sorry, I have something stuck in my nose. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to do that to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. <laughs> Why are you guys playing dramatic music? I'm not. Because you ruined it. I didn't ruin anything! You soiled it. it! You soiled it! You soiled it! I didn't- okay, never mind. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know, I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That's- that I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now that it now it feels like I'm the one behaving behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I could do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glanced around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. See, she's the simp. I'm not the simp. She is. You're both simps. Fuck you. But she looks away. 
the fuck is that? A gun being loaded? Shut up. <laughs> but she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. Sorry. <sighs> I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but approach her, but approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. Uh, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. Doctor. What? Doctor. Okay. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you're right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who are willingly sharing that concern. Of course, those are certainly there are certainly those who find the most comfort in reading to them to keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a bit off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't she didn't want to admit it to me. So, I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite you romantic. Happened. I didn't do anything though. Why are you guys blaming me for this shit? We will see. Oh my god. Eh, sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been good, f been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little bit too much. James, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think there might be something behind this after all? Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what they, what they may be going on inside her head, and may, and she may not always know what she wants. I know her strange behavior today too, and also I feel some concern for her. Is it really? Yeah. But, but in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? I don't actually. Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, great. doesn't she? Uh, I see. But you don't have to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. God damn it. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. <sighs> Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and dare and caring, may uncover feelings that weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. I feel like you guys are trying to point me in a direction I'm not really sure of. Uh, yeah. a better one? What do you guys mean a better- oh my god. I I like Yuri because she's timid. I like shy women. You won't look her, you won't like her for very long. I fucking doubt that. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty sure at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. It is what it is. Anyways, anyway, it is what it is, brada. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Monica. Okay, everyone. After some time, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make con I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. 
So we're probably only going to do two characters in this episode because I don't want to rule this out too long like I did the last two. So we're probably just going to do Monica. two episodes. All right, no, which ones? Which two? Which two? Monica. Let's wait for say. Let's wait for Sayori or Sir Capitalism. I keep calling him Sayori. What the? What's up, Sayori? Hey, what's up, bitch? Um. <laughs> all right, so which which two should we do? Sayori. All right. Sayori and Monica, Sayori and Monica. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't need to worry about that, I think. About what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri, of all people. Why are you guys so judgmental? <laughs> you guys are we'll so fucking judgmental. You will see why. You will see why. Fine, whatever. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Actually, you wrote it for both of them, which is pretty funny. I wrote it for Yuri <laughs> mainly, though. Yeah, but then there was also a lot of theory, isn't it? Probably. Ooh. Uh, Hold up. Good luck. Wait a second. It's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends. It's just like I was hoping. That makes me happy. Really, really happy. You guys sound so down all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, In this club. Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, James. What the fuck is up with you guys? Sayori, is there something wrong? <sighs> Why are you guys acting like this? It's making me so fucking on edge. <laughs> you found out. Oh my god. You're probably not find out this episode, it's just, but I'm, probably I'm not. A, I'm a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> just tell me if you need anything. Uh, I will. Why are you guys so, so fucking down? It's no, it's like worry, you guys are actually don't worry about me, okay? Don't worry about you it. You guys are actually, like, You're genuinely about. making me uncomfortable. This is not something don't you guys do. It. This is not something you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are fucking weird. We are. If you insist. Yay. Oh my god, the fucking music. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I, I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Alright, Monica's next. <laughs> Hi, James. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front in front of a bunch of other people. <clears throat> I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Well, whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see you. Ha 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 Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take a poem I'm holding in my hands. You're so gotten so refined, James. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> well, I guess I so. Do, I could probably do a little bit of Monica real quick. I, I'd bang, I'd bang, Yuri. Yeah. I I've been noticing how noticing much, how much time, time you with your... Sorry, I did a little snappy there. I think I have heard same these past 
couple days, then she talked in a whole year. Wait, can I ask you guys? Who is who is the most likely like person you'd bang in this game? Monica. I'd bang Yuri. What about Monica. you? What about you? Yuri, um, yeah. Yuri is your answer? No. Then then what is your answer? What is your answer? The one that you at. <laughs> it's Sayori. Of course, you'd bang Sayori. I'm guess like I would actually have a a very loving and committed what about relationship. Monica? I don't know. She's it. just got thick thighs, though. She doesn't really have much of a personality. She seems like a very generic girl, don't you think? Yeah, just wait. Just wait. Alright. Just wait until your run is ruined. I'm not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. You clearly put in putting a lot of effort. You must really like her. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's so fucking weird. What? It's awfully suspicious, you know. It's not that suspicious. Spending time with her in a club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well. I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all of her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. See, she gets me! Why can't you guys get me? She gets you, alright. She knows everything. Yeah, she right, whatever, she knows whatever, everything. whatever, whatever, just whatever. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri is used to open herself up. So, if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, <laughs> then it could be really hard for her. Why are you guys laughing all of a sudden? Why are you guys so cheery? Like, you guys are making me genuinely fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> her books are a total escape from reality. They're just the bandage. If you say that, like, you say that, uh, like, I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> if anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. <laughs> Why are you guys anyway. laughing? <laughs> oh, it's I'll share my phone now. now, all right? Uh, all right. The lady who knows everything. An old tale... An old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought, and here I am, a feather, lost adrift, the sky victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend that is that all remains, the last dim of star glimmering in the turlet I don't know sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall and I fall, I f and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger, at the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything that knows that I what I am thinking before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. That was very fucking nice. You know... I feel like I'm learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. What the fuck was that? In a way, it's almost para paradoxical. paradoxical. Because we 
had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its own? Me? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ha ha ha, are you surprised? Yes. I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. <clears throat> I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica riding the bouvet. <laughs> I can't fucking I can't hear those words ever the same <laughs> because of fucking sir capitalism. Give her voice. <laughs> when you give her voice. Are you trying to share your variety because you're afraid it's not good enough? That is that not is good. not that good. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something that you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. Mm -hmm. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little, little club, don't you think? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Gamer Boys Gaming Game. Whatever all it's right. called. I don't know. That's all the time we have for this episode. I got a shower and I'm no, gonna... let's do it. Let's continue more. We're not done here. Let's continue more. We're not, we're nah. not done here. We're not Why? done here. I've We're got a shower. Done. Let me shower I'm first. Not done. You're continuing. Let You're me continuing. shower first, and then I'll come You're back, continuing. okay? I'm Let me shower first. Shower first. And then I'll come back to this. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. And I love you guys, each and individually.